Swift Rick here showcasing my God Roll But Not Forgotten Sniper. Now this one's not my God Roll one, I have two of them. This is the first one I got and the reason I'm showing you this is because I have a lot of gameplay using this one. So some of this gameplay is me using this one which has Accurized Ballistics, Braced Frame, Snapshot, and Life Support. Now my God Roll Sniper that I recently got, the But Not Forgotten God Roll, has Accurized Ballistics, Handmade stock for stability, but I've heard that hammer forged or that range, more range on a sniper, uh, helps with getting headshots. Like it makes the hitbox a little bigger. So instead, I put hammer forged because I don't feel like I have trouble uh, with the stability of the sniper. And then I also have quick draw and single point sling and hidden hand. This is definitely a god roll, but not forgotten. Now I definitely think this is the best sniper in the game right now. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying the trial, the new trial sniper is really good, but I haven't got that drop, but I compared it to this one. I looked at the stats and it looks similar, so I think it's the same archetype. Um, it looked like it had the same rate of fire, the same impact, uh, but to know for sure, I got to get one. So hopefully next time in trials, I can get one of those snipers to compare. But for right now, I think this one is definitely the best. Um, if I'm able to get another trial or if I'm able to get a trial sniper, I think the only difference would be the scope because obviously they have different scopes. I mean, you can get the same exact perks for both snipers and they I'm pretty sure they handle the same. They feel the same. They're lightweight. They both look lightweight, very agile, snappy snipers, but I the only thing that I see different is probably the scope. I do I am very interested in the trial sniper scope, you, it like highlights enemies, but hopefully it has the same zoom or even like lower zoom. That's the only way I'd actually use the trial sniper is if I if the scope is better than this scope. If the scope is better than the not forgotten scope, I would definitely use the trial sniper, but uh, I won't know until I get one for sure. Also if I get a better roll. Uh, my trials uh, sniper then I'd use that instead as well whichever whichever sniper gets a better roll I mean it's gonna be pretty hard to get a better roll than this sniper I have here because it's it's already a god roll so I don't know I really don't know what I'd prefer uh, than the perks I already have um, I'll probably do some research to see if there's any other perks I'd try to get instead because in my opinion this is like this is the best roll uh, I don't need to change anything for it. Now, this sniper, the sniper archetype, is perfect. It's not too uh, heavy, but it's also not too weak. Usually, I tried out the new Crucible sniper, and it's super high impact. Super high impact. I thought this would that would be the sniper that I would always use, because you can get... Uh, it's like the Devil's Dawn impact, but the only difference is on the Crucible sniper, you can get uh, any perks. You can get random perks for it, so you can roll a god roll. Uh, on the crucible sniper but when i was using it it's it felt very clunky just very heavy like it i i don't i'm not the type of person to just stay in one spot and snipe and that's what you got to do with the crucible sniper it's very heavy that you can't really move it's not snappy and agile like the but not forgotten it's very heavy you got to stay in a spot uh, or you just move very slow and you're not able to quick scope uh, people and just like quickly turn around to snipe people. It's just very slow it slows you down a lot But the uh, but not forgotten is very agile and snappy and lightweight You can feel it when you use it You can feel how lightweight it is and that's what I really like about it. But like I said before it's also um, The impact is not as high as the crucible sniper, but it's still high enough for me uh, I can res snipe, you can shut down super still, like any armored super, I've, 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 every single super I've headshot, it shuts them down, so I feel like uh, any, any, by, any super that is being used, I can shut them down. Maybe not a titan smash with uh, that one perk that gives them extra armor, unstoppable, but I guess I'd have to test it out, I might test it out and uh, make a video on if, you're, if it's able to, I'm not sure though. But either way, this does enough impact that I need. It, you can body shot someone and still have enough damage to finish them off. It's, they're not absolute like the Crucible Sniper would do if you body shot them, but it's still enough damage uh, to finish them off quickly. Now, as most of you know, I used to use the Thousand Yard Stair a lot, but then they decreased the impact on the Thousand Yard Stair. And it was just, you can't, I, I don't think you could rest snipe anymore and you couldn't, 
shut down supers anymore but luckily this sniper feels just like the thousand yard stare but it's stronger it's that's basically the only difference is it's stronger the thing that sucks about the sniper is you can't get different scopes for it so the only thing you can change is the barrel the scope is uh fixed for every sniper for every but not forgotten sniper and i think it's the same for the trial sniper you can only change the barrel it does not change scopes it's the same scope for all the trial sniper the new ones the new trial sniper it's the same scope but this might not necessarily be a bad thing actually because the scope on this one actually feels good. I don't. I have to do some tests to see if the zoom is the same as the short gaze, or maybe it's a little bit higher zoom. I'm not sure, but it feels like a pretty low zoom scope. It doesn't feel too high, so uh, that's a positive about the scope. Is it's it's a good scope. I'm not sure if it's the, like I mentioned before. I'm not sure if the trial sniper scope is the same zoom or if it's shorter. Hopefully, it's shorter because I feel like it's easier to snipe with a shorter scope. Or shorter zoom scope but it's a good scope I like the scope I really do and like I mentioned before if you body shot someone with this sniper you I can usually finish them off with one bullet of my hawk moon uh, unless they're really far away because the range on the hawk moon is not like super high like a scout rifle so but most of the time I can just finish them off with one bullet and I have the ophidian aspect gloves so I can switch weapons quickly um, so I just body shot someone and then I just switched to my hand or my hawk moon and just finished them off real quick Now I did get the laughing heart sniper from iron banner this week and um, I don't really like it. It's a lower Impact sniper, but higher rate of fire So it's very good for follow-up shots or for killing more than one enemy that are near each other but I don't think you can rest snipe with it and I don't think you can shut down supers with it because it has lower impact and I really like high impact snipers I want to shut down supers with one headshot and I want to shut down that res real quick before they're able to run away and if I can't do that in one shot they can usually run away um, and I'm talking about headshots this is uh, shutting down supers and res is with a one shot headshot uh, there's no sniper in the game that can obviously shut down anything with just a one body shot unless someone else shot them first but if they have full health you can't shut down anything with one body shot so if you're thinking about getting this sniper or the new iron banner sniper the laughing heart I would recommend this one unless you really like high rate of fire snipers then that's definitely the one you want to get the iron banner sniper because it's very high rate of fire lower impact but high rate of fire and I think that has more stability. I'm not sure. I think it has more stability, but less range as well. But yeah, I definitely recommend this sniper, the but not forgotten sniper. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. And let me know, what do you guys think is the best sniper in the game? Do you guys have a but not forgotten with a great roll? Or do you guys prefer a different sniper that you have? Uh, let me know about it in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to watch uh, me stream on twitch just follow me at swift underscore rick and i'll have a link down below in the description for you guys and also i have a twitter uh same thing swift underscore rick i'll put a link and i'm thinking about streaming trials next week and or actually this weekend and i'll probably try to stream iron banner before it's over we'll see if it happens though don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching guys see you next time